to the projects for the next phase of the sales tax. They went over the final recommendations before they're scheduled to vote on the list tomorrow. News Channel 6's George Escala has a look at what made the cut. I guess the commissioners have been working on SPLA State for months, but some say they did not see the final recommendations until the administrator sent them out the morning before the last planned work session. I just don't think we've had time enough to digest it and talk about it, and it's uh, already determined. That's what bothers me is, uh, you know, who sat around and determined what's going to be what. The administrator recommending a $250 million package. Some of the big ticket items include $25 million for the new James Brown Arena. The administrator recommended $21 million for road resurfacing. But Commissioner Sammy Sias pushing for $30 million. Anytime you can resurface any road, it's a great benefit to the public. The recommendations also include $11 million to improve lighting at city ball fields and $10 million for blight removal. Commissioner Bill Fenoy was fighting for $15. $6 million for a water park. Commissioners and the administrator were offering adjustments all through the work session, even though a vote on finalizing the list is scheduled for Tuesday. I am definitely leaning towards supporting it. There's still a couple items that we're going to discuss tomorrow in legal um, that have to do with some real estate that we need to uh, address before I can fully support it. Commissioner still working out the details on a quarter of a billion dollar package that voters will have to embrace and approve. In Augusta, George Escola, WJBF, News Channel 6. The plan does not include funding for outside entities like museums. Here we are nearly 10 months after News Channel 6 first told you about illegal 